Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Evacuation Points, and I am still just so disappointed in myself for yesterday, honestly. I just... Like, why? You know? Why? I, uh... I haven't watched those episodes, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. Um... They, uh... Probably not, probably not that great from an audio quality perspective, you know, but whatever. Accidents happen, right? You live and learn. Or in my case, at least you live. Oh, the, um, I'm noticing now the, uh, skins are gone. Do we have... I don't have... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's, uh, there's... Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I'll also have to... whatever, 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 it, do, it doesn't matter, okay? So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go over here, into Corsair, uh, IQ Launcher.exe, boop, 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 and then close it, because it doesn't start with my system. It's on and start up, it's just, you know, whatever. Uh, do we have... It doesn't appear to be that it's there. Well, the uh, Halloween skins are gone, I guess. I don't know, what, were they gone yesterday? I can't remember. I can't remember. When did they When did they disappear? I don't think they were gone yesterday. This is the first time I'm seeing that boy. In a long time. Weird. Didn't, uh, <laughs> it, took, it took a moment to, to recognize it. Anyway, they're, uh, they're back. I don't know if we're going to be getting Christmas-themed skins or whatever. I mean, maybe, right? Like, it could happen. I I, uh, I don't know if we're getting them or not, but, you know, the possibility is, of course, there. It's never not there. Uh, so if you guys missed it in the last two episodes, which I don't blame you, they sucked, um, I got the sketch back for my commission, for my commissioned avatar. Which is amazing. It looks really, really good. A couple of my friends have uh, taken a peek at it as well, and, and they agree that it also looks pretty good. I'm, I'm really, really excited to get it going and, and have uh, you know be able to start up with with my new channel and all that. Finally, it'll be really, really nice to, to finally be starting to put up uh, like videos and stuff up there. Start growing that again, or start growing it. For once, but start growing a channel again. We, we, we can make this fault. It's okay. I'm not worried. Shouldn't have jumped. You know, jumping was a bad idea, but whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm getting more lax with the KF2 stuff as well. Honestly, it comes from uh, depression, I think. It comes from depression. Um, I would say so, yeah. Uh, I just... Uh, for me, I just, I don't have, I don't know, I, I don't have anything to do, you know? And it's, uh, it's causing me, it, 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 it's, it's, it's giving me a bit of depression. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. All shall be right in the world once I have, uh, responsibilities and, and things to do again. I just, I don't have them right now, and it's really bugging me. Uh, I know that, I know that I, I could just do it. But I, I really want to make sure that we got that new branding and stuff. It's so soon, too. Oh, uh, also, um, I'm in, like, a bad mood today, okay? I gotta remember that. I'm not in a happy mood. I'm in a bad mood. Because uh, uh, I woke up to an email from Oculus uh, telling me that my Oculus Quest 2 was being shipped. I'm like, uh, yeah, Best Buy already told me that and I'm not buying it from Oculus so I went ahead and I checked what the heck was happening um, and uh, they they ended up charging me I can't I, I initially ordered it on Oculus from from Oculus uh, and then I didn't have money in that account um, so, it didn't end up going through, so I was like, whatever, I'll just cancel this order. Don't put it through. Uh, and then, I'll uh, order it from like Best Buy, because they had it $10 cheaper. 
which was just ten dollars cheaper from like tax <laughs> uh which you know not complaining here and also a faster delivery time so i was like yeah i'll just get it from best buy instead um and then uh today the money came out anyway so i guess, I guess uh they, they tried to charge it again. My order didn't get cancelled or whatever. It says when I go to the page that I can request a refund um, tomorrow. It says refund like November 13th or November 11th or something like that. I can't remember. Wednesday or something. I can't remember. I can't remember. But I can, I can request a refund on the page. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow when I'm able to do that. Or whenever it is, and then uh, get the refund. And I mean, I tell you, I'm not accepting it when it gets here. You know, if they want me to sign for it, I'm not, I'm not accepting it. Send it back. Um, and if you know, I'm, I'm not like I don't. It just, it annoys me because I definitely canceled the payment on my side. You know, like like I canceled the payment. I said no. This order is done. Okay, so. Even if it was, you know, PayPal or my Visa or whatever that was sending out uh, the payment after it got, uh, after it got, um, like, you know, bonked, uh, Oculus should have just not, you know, been accepting the payment because I, I canceled it, you know, um, and and even then, like, I just. I canceled the order. <laughs> like I don't, I don't understand why I'm I'm paying for it now all of a sudden. You know, like they were like, hey, you know, update your payment options or whatever. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just cancel it instead. And then it just comes out anyway. I'm like, I just I don't understand. I don't under, I don't understand how that works. I should I, you know, it, it it should be not legal um, for that to happen because I definitely canceled it. So, uh, anyway, it, it says it'll be refunded, but, like, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to get the box and then have them send out an RMA thing and then me have to go down to the post office and be like, here it goes, and then, you know, have it go off. No, like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm, I just, I'm not the one who, who messed up here, you know, like, I'm not the one that, uh, whose, whose systems kind of didn't accept me canceling the payment, you know? It's not, uh, it's not on me, so when it gets here, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm going to get my refund and then hopefully, uh, you know, whatever day they have uh, the refund working for or whatever, um, you know, it just doesn't end up getting shipped because uh, I really just don't want to have to go out of my way to fix their mistake. You know, that, that's the one thing that's, that's the one thing that I hate, that I've always hated, like more than anything, is, is having to go out of my way to fix somebody else's mistake. You know, like you cost me money. I had to go through the effort to fix it. And I'm the one that has to like ultimately put in the like, like you know, like, 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 like with this, for instance, you know, I, it's not through yet. I'm assuming I'll be able to just cancel the thing or whatever. Just like, you know, not receive it and return to sender, you know, um, whatever. Right. But let, let's uh, let's assume that uh, I have to accept it and then send it back myself. Um because uh, it just makes the uh, example a little bit better. So, you know, it'll, it'll have started with me getting it and then having to go through the effort to, like, notice in the first place that somebody else has messed up, which not very hard in this case, but sometimes it is. Um, and then, uh, you know, I also have to, uh, like, start sending off emails and talking to people and and getting them to actually give me back my money that they shouldn't have taken in the first place because you know it wasn't me that messed up it was them so that's you know definitely take I mean it took probably 20 minutes out of my life earlier just to like identify the problem after I got the email and then uh, you know it's gonna take probably another 20 to 30 minutes of, of my life later to go through and you know, send off the refund, emails, whatever I have to do to, to get my money back. And then it's going to take more time after I get the money back to make sure that it's all through and 
make sure I'm not paying, you know, interest on the payment while it was there and like just kind of, you know, making sure my statements are all fine and and all this kind of stuff. It's going to end up being like an hour, a little over an hour of, of, of work that I have to put in because somebody else messed up, you know. And then on top of all of that, again, we're, 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 we're assuming that uh, what probably won't happen will happen in this case. Um, you know, at the end of all of that, I'm going to have to also go out of my way to like send their package back. It's, it's like, I'm just, it's it just, it just, that's the kind of stuff that, that really gets me. And you know, I'm not going to get anything out of it, you know? I have to spend like an hour, hour and a bit to, to fix their mistake. And, and I get nothing out of it, you know? It's not like they get anything out of it either, and they obviously have to work to process the, the refund and and all that kind of stuff. It, ju it just irks me when somebody else messes up, or when something else messes up. When, so when something happens that's outside of my control, that I have to then identify and fix, and all I get to do is, is return myself to the status quo. I don't, you know, like, it, it just... I, 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 nothing, nothing bothers me more than that. Like, genuinely. It's just, oh, I hate it. It happened a lot when I was delivering papers, too. It happened a lot when I was delivering papers. Like, I was supposed to get my own paper. And, uh, that was, that was a part of the, like, deal with, um, when I was delivering papers that we agreed on when I got it. And it was, like, you know, in the contract and blah, 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 right? So I would deliver my paper first, and then somebody else wouldn't get it. I'm like, hey, you guys are still not giving me the extra paper you're supposed to be giving me. I'm like, I'm not. Like, somebody else is not getting the paper. It's not, like, sorry. I'm not going to make it the same person every time, but, like, you know, that's that's a part of the a part of the job. Like, I'm not, I'm not going out of my way to fix somebody else's mistake, you know? I just, uh, and it's like, you know, with, with some things, you know? You, you get something out of it, right? And, and the, the thing that you get out of it might not necessarily be, like, money or any kind of, like, tangible thing. It might just be that you feel good helping somebody else fix their mistakes, you know? Like, I often have my friends message me and be like, hey, I messed up. And I'm like, I will help you. I will assist this. I will do what I can to, to make you feel better or whatever, right? Like, I want to help because... You know, I want to help, and and in this case, what I'm getting out of it is is just, you know, helping my friend or whatever, which is is in itself a good thing, right? Like I don't I don't need payment for that. Just just knowing that I'm I'm helping and, and making them feel better is, is enough of a payment for me, right? It's 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 when you when you get these things like like with the Oculus Quest, where I have to now spend like minimum an hour of my time to fix this mistake that shouldn't have happened in the first place and you know the people who I'm helping don't really care that uh, I'm helping you know like they they would rather that I, I don't because me helping just ends up not helping them anyway you know like nobody's winning here right everybody's at a loss oculus ends up having to process a refund and a return and you know especially during COVID times like who knows what the what that kind of process is like right um i have to process you know getting my money back and 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 like all that kind of stuff like everybody's at a loss nobody wins it's lose lose and that's just that's that's the kind of situation that i'm just like i just for me you know it, ju it just it, it that's not nothing nothing makes me more mad genuinely Gen like it's oh i hate it i hate it I hate it. And it, it happens regularly, you know? Like, not super regularly, but but every now and then, like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a reasonably regular thing. It happens most often in uh, uh, retail or, you know, any kind of customer support industry or whatever, where I'm like, yeah, I recognize this as a problem. I'm mad because, like, I have to go out of my way to fix your mistake. And you're mad because now you also have to fix your mistake. Everybody's losing. I get nothing out of it, you get nothing out of it, we all just return to the status quo and just wasted a bunch of our time, and it's like, nobody's happy here, you know? Like, nobody's happy. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. That's why I like, actually, the way that some companies handle these kinds of situations, like Amazon, for instance. 
um, I'm actually not that upset when when Amazon deliveries mess up or something like that. Like like if if Amazon messes up something for me, I'm actually not really that bothered by it because I know that when I call them, I can be like, hey, can I get a free month of Amazon Prime out of it? And they'll be like, all right, and then you know dump an an extra month of Amazon Prime, and it still sucks because you know whatever ended up happening happened. It's not something that you want to have happen, and I, I wouldn't normally say that it's, you know, the, the month of Amazon Prime is, is better than whatever happened, you know? But uh, at the very least, you get something out of it, right? You get to, so, you know, you don't, you're not spending that much time fixing it, right? You might spend an hour fixing it, you get like, you know, 15 bucks of value that, that you otherwise would have been spending, right? Like, I otherwise would have been buying Amazon Prime anyway. So that's like 15 bucks back in my pocket, basically, you know, that I don't have to spend next month. And that's, 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 you know, it sucks that it happened, but that's at least like a, some kind of, you know, it, it, I don't feel like my time was wasted, you know? Like that's, that's what I would get if I were to go work at a minimum wage job, you know, for an hour, you know? And oftentimes with Amazon, it's like way less than an hour to fix whatever problem comes up to. Typically, like, you know, half an hour. Because you gotta, you know, you gotta first identify the problem, recognize it, and, you know, decide if it's a problem at all that you have to fix or whatever. And, like, this, this, these things take time, you know? And, uh... You, you, you can easily spend an hour on, uh, trying to get a refund. Especially if you have to go, like, into a store. Oh, that just, that sucks. You know, you have to go out of your way. Like, go to a store to refund something because they messed up and like did something wrong and then all you get is is like the status quo you know like i once had a fan that i bought that literally just didn't blow air around i bought it from walmart and uh it literally didn't do what a fan is supposed to do like it spun but it didn't it didn't push air it, it, you you could feel air coming out like the side of it like like I don't know how they designed it exactly but like it didn't it didn't push air in 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 the direction that that you would expect it to right so I went back and I'm like yeah I thought I was getting a fan instead I kind of just got like a vacuum uh, and uh, you know they refunded me I got my money back but this this you know ultimately it's like an hour hour and a half out of my time because I have to go to the store buy it in the first place and then come back and like you know, return it, and then I have my money back, but I still need a fan, you know what I mean, like, ah, <sighs> anyway, so that's, that's what happens to me, not very fun, not very fun, not very fun, um, yeah, I have the money for it, I'm not, it's not like, you know, financially, I'm not torn up by it or anything like that, like, I'm fine to have an extra, you know, $500 purchase come out of my visa, it's not, you know, I'm not like in crippling debt or anything, but like, it just it wa it wasted an hour of my time, and nobody got anything out of it, you know. At least if they got something out of it, I'd be like mad at them, you know. I'd be I'd be like livid at them, and I'd be like raising a stink about it if they got something out of it in the end. But nobody gets anything, <laughs> you know. It just it just oh it just it just annoys me. It's just, it's, it's my least favorite thing. Genuinely, genuinely, genuinely is. It's just, it's just, yeah. People get mad when I, uh, when I talk about it too. Is is the other thing? They're like, well, you know, people make mistakes, and you gotta, you gotta just, you know, live and accept it. And I'm like, yeah. I make mistakes all the time too. I'm sure it pisses people off all the time. You know, and like, you know, that sucks, but. I'm not gonna stop making mistakes, and, and neither are these people. Like, I'm not mad at the customer service person I get, you know? Like, when I'm when I'm talking Oculus later today or tomorrow, or whatever. You know, I'm not gonna be mad at, at, you know, whatever representative ends up talking to me. It's not their fault. It's it's the system's fault for, for charging me even after I canceled my order, you know? Like, it's their fault for, for not canceling the, the payment when, uh, when I canceled the order. Like, like, what should be legally required, in my opinion, but, uh, I guess isn't, or is, and, and, and Facebook just doesn't care. <laughs> That's another thing, is, 
I mean, Facebook's not afraid to do the illegal, right? They've they've shown that time and time again. Where are you? Upstairs. It's a bloody they've shown that time and time again as, as they've done illegal things and then lobbied to make them not legal. Or lobbied to make them not illegal. <laughs> and then, uh, oops, I didn't need to do that. Uh, lobbied to make them, you know, legal again or whatever. And yeah. They'd be like, oh, it wasn't a crime after all. <laughs> Look at that. How funny. Yeah, that's their whole jam, right? It's like a bloody Dickens novel out Bunch here. of Dickens, if you know what I mean. But, uh... Yeah. I, 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 re I really think it was it was an honest mistake. By, by I mean, it could have could even been a lapse in judgment by me. You know? But, but the... Now that's bullet time. I, the, the fact remains that it's just... It's, it's a really frustrating thing to have to deal with. Because, uh... As far as I'm concerned, it was out of my control. You know, there, there was no way I could have avoided this. There's nothing I can get out of it. You know? It's not like Oculus is going to give me an Oculus Quest, uh... Like, gift card or something like that, you know? Like... And it would be unreasonable to expect that, because I'm not buying anything from them. You know? Like, why would you... Why would you give something to your customers who are getting a refund? You know? Like... That doesn't make any sense. You know? When I'm, when I'm, when I'm going through this much effort to get a refund on a product that, uh... It, it doesn't make sense. But at least, at least, if uh, if, if they did, that would make it uh, somewhat okay, in my opinion. You know, at least that way, I'd, I'd feel like my time was not completely wasted. You know, obviously, like it still sucks when when you get like you know fifteen dollar. Oh, I'm sorry, here's your time back. You know. Um, but it. Uh, at the very least, I'm like, yeah, you know, that's that's something, you know. It's not it's not a total waste, at least, which is important to me because I just I hate, I hate that wasting of time. And it's not like I do much with my time, right? Like my whole thing right now is talking about how I have just too much dang time and I have nothing uh, nothing really to do until I get my uh, my avatar all set up and stuff, but. Somebody else making a mistake, or some other system or something making a mistake, you know? Some other thing making a mistake that ends up costing me time and not giving me anything in return. It's just, it's just, it's, just it's, it's my, it's my biggest pet peeve. It really is. Nothing, nothing is worse than that, in my opinion. Anyway, anyway. In positive news, you know, in lighter news. Two more days. <laughs> two more days until I get my, uh... Until I get my Oculus Quest 2. I don't like it, honestly. The whole, you know, being owned by Facebook thing. It's not it's not for me, but it really is the best possible thing. I, mean, I, don't know, I haven't got any kind of shipping updates since uh, I ordered it, basically. Um, which is concerning. I have a sneeze coming. Hold up. It's not happening. It's not happening, but I feel it. I feel it right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't think I don't think I don't think it's coming. I see you. I see you. I want you to I want you to come up farther though. I want you to come up farther. Can you do that for me? Yeah, right about here is good. Um coming i'm really excited i mean i haven't got any shipping notifications other than when i first ordered or first bought it but uh it's kind of concerning because you know the, it might end up being late <laughs> which would suck i will be so crushed but it's still saying november 12th it is november 10th as of today all i'm saying is there's a chance there's a chance you know it could happen it could happen not today, not tomorrow, probably, I mean, maybe, but uh, probably not tomorrow. But the next day, I should have my VR headset, and ooh, baby, I'm excited. Canada Post has still not gotten it. Uh, I'll get the first update when they do. Once Canada Post gets it, then Canada Post will start to track it. All the, well, the, the tracking is on Canada Post. Best Buy has sent me the first one being like, hey, we told Canada Post we're going to give it to them. They haven't given it to them yet, so I am a little bit concerned, but then at the same time, it's probably coming from somewhere like 
you know, downtown or over in Vancouver or something like that. So not not very far away. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.